I haven't even picked in, picked in. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. How are you guys? I'm doing good. This week we are diving into literally reviews, basically reviews only. I will be posting a third video on Saturday. There will be a review, double review. So stay tuned for that. Very exciting things going on on Saturday. I hope you will enjoy that video. But today we are reviewing another kit from Kete Shut. New product from this company. Excited to see what that's going to be. I haven't even opened this package right here. This is a box that I received from them in the mail. I'm excited to see what this balloon garland or this kit will bring me, how it's gonna look and how this will perform. So everything I will be using in this video, you guys, everything will be listed and linked in the description under the video. If you're interested, go ahead and check it out and without any further ado let's go let's open this up looks like we have two bags of balloons then we have bag of foil balloons with a straw straw is very nice when it's included with foil balloons then we have a pack of glue dots balloon strip which is nice as well balloon time tool you guys this thing is so helpful it's gonna save your fingers from blisters and ruined skin and i love this thing this is a nice touch awesome kit they shot then we have this banner over here i'm not sure what it's going to say but it looks really really good then we have this cake topper and i yeah, my guess is that we are having something mermaid related. This is very, very pretty, very shiny and very good quality as well. And we have a thank you note from Kete Shut right here. And then we have uh, instructions and looks like it's going to be a pink mermaid tail balloon arch kit. When you turn your thank you card uh, to the other side, it says that just for you, gift just for you, you can receive a 10% off of your next order when you follow directions. And that's a nice touch as well. Okay, let's dive into it and see how this kit will look on our backdrop. Let's go. I am ready to blow all of my balloons, ready to start with this kit. I am using electric balloon pump to blow all of my balloons and since I am using balloon strip, I am blowing my balloons individually and tying them individually using this balloon woo, tying tool. So without any further ado, let's jump into it and let's blow these balloons up. Okay, all of my latex balloons are blown. Now let's jump into these foiled gold balloons. I assume that that would be uh, our tail. And I am right. So what I'm doing, I am taking this straw, inserting the straw into that opening that you need to insert a straw to fill in your <laughs> balloon and just like that and then insert the rest of your straw into your pump and start pumping. Be careful not uh, to give your balloon too much air because it can rip and pop your balloon. Done that before, be careful. And little by little start filling in. As soon as you're 
done filling, pull out your straw and here you have perfectly blowing half the tail. My balloon strip is here ready to be filled with balloons so I'm taking or I am starting with the largest balloon 12 inch and I am picking my first hole and just inserting my balloon into one of the holes until that knot that we just tied snap into the hole there we go let it go and here you have a start of your mermaid tail let's go for a gold 12 inch balloon I am not sure if I want to skip any holes I think I'm gonna skip one hole and then insert this one into a third one so insert it until your knot snaps into the hole okay let's go for another gold or you know what no let's go for our five inch balloon I'm not skipping any holes this time inserting okay different color I'm not skipping any holes okay and keep on inserting and building your balloon garland uh, it's up to you if you want to how many holes you want to skip the but skipping holes is very important because if you won't skip holes balloons might pop out out of this strip and it's not going to work so kind of try to fill your balloon uh, garland see if it needs to be skipped or not just keep working By the way, I am not twisting my balloon strip. I am inserting all of my balloons on one side. No twisting. Okay, you guys, I think I did overblow these, this balloon because on a picture, when uh, the whole thing is assembled and those tail pieces are already attached, there is a burgundy or is right in the middle of those tail pieces. So I'm not sure. I think I'm going to kind of fix this one and I'm going to try to deflate and re, re, um, retie this balloon. So we'll see. I don't know. Okay, I'm really nervous doing this because balloon can't pop. So what I'm doing is I am stretching this balloon and... Oh! Ah! It kind of cut by itself. Okay, I'm going to try to blow this up to the small balloon and I'm going to tie this and salvage this balloon. Okay, I kind of salvaged this balloon. It's not the best balloon, but it's going to be pretty right in the middle of those two tail pieces. Uh, be careful. Uh, look through your instructions really carefully before going through all that. Now you guys, this is already ready. I feel like I want to leave all of these balloons as extra and then fill in spaces later with them. Now I want to take this part of my tail and try it on my backdrop, see what I want to hang it and then go from there. Here's a quick close up for you guys on how I want to attach my full tail to my backdrop. I took this fishing line. This is my 20 pound fishing line. I uh, tied that fishing line to my safety pin that I pinned to my fabric over here. I'm pulling it as you can see. And then I took this uh, fishing line all the way down to my balloon strip and tied that fishing line to that balloon strip. And it holds really, really well. I want to add two or three we'll see how many more strings to this tail and do the same exact same thing what i did here if you're done with your balloon strip you can absolutely cut your strip and use it for another balloon garland that you might have balloons for so very long, very useful. Here's my two tails, my glue dots. 
I am ripping one row of glue dots. It would be a little bit easier for me to work with. Taking the top portion of my glue dots, some will stick on this paper, some will stick on this, on that paper. So I am taking my glue dots and I am putting those glue dots on the very side of your tail, just like that. And foil balloons are not really friendly with glue dots, so you need to kind of scratch on them. Here we go. Then I'm taking my second half and I'm gluing those two halves together. Okay, kind of press it. And you have pretty good base over here. Now we're gonna go to our tail and attach it right there. First things first, I am measuring where I want to put my tail. So right here is good. And now I am looking where balloons will touch my tail. Taking glue dots and placing where balloons will touch my tail to glue everything together. It's really, really good with one glue dot. Don't put one glue dot. Put more than just one glue dot to make sure this will stay in one spot for a long time. Looks really, really good. And now let's take our extra balloons and fill in spaces. balloons and now we need to attach this birthday happy birthday it's not under the sea I was I was expecting but this is happy birthday so let's uh, let's figure this out together for you guys to show how I attached my letters to my fabric. I pinned safety pin to my fabric and tied the string to that pinned safety pin. Arched my letters and again tied that string to another safety pin on the other side. I did exactly the same what I did here to my happy letters as well. And this is my review on this mermaid tail kit from Kete Shad. I really like the quality of this kit. These balloons are very, very nice. Nothing popped, deflated, or had holes. And these unusual colors, they do work really, really good together. Love it so much. Enough glue dots, enough balloon strip. These letters are really really pretty they are printed on a heavy cardstock so you can store them and reuse them birthday after birthday i will link this kit in the description under the video so you guys can check it out yourself and maybe purchase it for your birthday or for your children's birthdays anyways you guys i hope you enjoyed this review and I will share a few pictures at the end of this video. Alrighty guys, so here you have it. This is my Kete Shot review. Let me know if this video was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your family and friends, and that will be helpful as well. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. If you have any questions that you wanna ask me, go to that comment section below the video and leave them all there. I will try to help you as much as I can and answer them all and just be really helpful. 
I hope you will have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you back very soon. Bye!